Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Wa'al bin Nasser Al Mubarak, where he took the oath before His Majesty the King on the occasion of his new appointment. His Majesty congratulated the Minister, wishing him success in taking his national responsibility and hailing his competency, which qualified him to perform his duties optimally. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the President of the Court of uh, Cassation and Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chancellor Abdullah Al Bu'ainin, in a visit uh, through which the Chancellor greeted His Majesty following the Royal Directive to restructure the Council. His Majesty expressed pride in the illustrious history of Bahrain and the judicial field, which pioneered the establishment of national institutions. His Majesty affirmed the independence of the judiciary to serve and protect the people's rights which he described as a great responsibility for which the judges deserve the utmost respect. During the meeting, His Majesty thanked the President of the Supreme Judicial Council along with the members for their hard work and for shouldering this responsibility to achieve justice and preserve the rights of citizens and residents while affirming that truth and justice shall remain the foundation upon which Bahrain judiciary will continue to rest. His Majesty praised the ongoing development that the judicial field has been experiencing and affirmed that Bahrain is keen on ensuring that such progress in the evolution of its institutions is a fixture for all the state's institutions. He said that Bahrain is carrying on down the path of tolerance, justice and equality. For his part, the Chancellor expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's keen support for the judicial field in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Deputy President of the Constitutional Court, Consultant Judge Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mulla, and a member of the Constitutional Court, Judge Ahmed Ahmed Al Dosiri, who took the oath before His Majesty the King after their appointment following the royal decree. His Majesty the King congratulated them and wished them success in assuming their national responsibility. His Majesty praised the rich history and the pioneering role of Bahraini courts in the region. He expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the members of the Constitutional Court. A number of judges of the Supreme Court of Cassation and Appeal also swore an oath following the royal decree and His Majesty wished them all success. His Majesty affirmed the significance of the Bahraini justice system and its role in maintaining the principles of rights, justice and the rule of law. He affirmed the, or the continuation of the successful march of the kingdom thanks to the cooperation among the three authorities to achieve the best interest for the country and its people. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa patronized today the fourth edition of the Khalifa bin Salman Press Award held by the Ministry of Information Affairs. His Royal Highness praised the role of journalists in enhancing the forward march of the kingdom by assuming their national responsibility in serving their country. He stressed the important role of the press and media in raising awareness in the Bahraini society and contribute in maintaining security and stability. He added that this celebration comes to honor the efforts 
efforts of journalists to appreciate their noble efforts in serving the country. His Royal Highness congratulated the winners and described them as role models that reflect the quality of the Bahraini press and wish them further success. He praised their professionalism and honesty in collecting data and information that enhances the culture of the society. He also stressed their important role in presenting and discussing various issues. His Royal Highness recalled the contributions of the past generations of journalists who paved the way for the current generation. During the ceremony, the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Arumehi, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the fourth edition of the award in line with Bahrain's 80th anniversary for launching the first Bahraini newspaper. He added, uh, through the challenges, Bahrain dealt wisely and responsibly with these threats, including combating terrorism and preventing external interference in internal affairs. He said that media in Bahrain always follows royal directives and assumes its role in a perfect and honest manner in order to strengthen unity, culture, tolerance and the Bahraini identity as they represent the path towards security, stability and prosperity. The minister said that uh, Bahrain's unity, sovereignty, constitution, humanitarian values and its respect for the leadership will remain lines or will remain lines that will never be crossed and the media in Bahrain will remain spreading peace and tolerance as well as holding on to our Arab and Islamic identity. The Secretary General of the Arab Media Forum, Madhil Khamis, then delivered a speech in which he hailed the award and praised the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the media and the press in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He said that the advancement of media in Bahrain is thanks to this support and expressed honor for the attendance of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the award which reflects his keenness and the importance of the award.
The ceremony included a short film on the award in addition to an appreciation to His Royal Highness's support, which reflects his keenness to further improve the journalism field. في رفع الطين هو لا يرى في الصحافة منبرا للكلمة فحسب هي نبض حي ومرآة ناطقة تعكس ما يدور في الشارع من فرح وترح من إنجازات وأيضا إخفاقات شعور بالمسؤولية لا يهدأ تجاه إنسان هذا الوطن في أمنه واستقراره ورفاهه إن البحرين دائما وابدا سوف تكون مكانا للامن والاستقرار وشعب البحرين دائما سوف يكون هو خط الدفاع الاول عن ما يحمي هذا البلد ومكتسباته وانجازاته من كل سوء سمو الأمير الرئيس رواية لا تنتهي صفحاتها المكتوبة بماء الذهب من الاستجابات لجل ما تعرضه الصحافة التي غالبا ما تكون أول أوامره لرجاله بمتابعة هذا الأمر أو ذاك قبل أن يدخل إلى مجلسه العامر الذي هو الآخر يعج بأبناء الكلمة والقلم لقاءات سموه بالصحفيين دائمة ويحمل لهم كل التقدير والاحترام وهم مقدمون لديه على سواهم يدرك تمام الإدراك مدى جسامة دورهم في المجتمع فهم عنده بمثابة العين الفاحصة لكل ما يعايشه الوطن والمواطن تعمل الصحافة في البحرين بكل حرية وهي تعلم أن لها سندا وعزا اسمه خليفة بن سلمان تجوب الأقلام الحرة المسؤولة عوالم الصحافة والاستقصاء والكشف وهي على يقين بأن لديها في بداية الصف قائدا اسمه خليفة بن سلمان وما الجائزة الموشاة باسم الأمير الرئيس إلا أكبر دليل على العصر الذهبي لرحلة الصحافة حرفا وصورة يطيب لنا أن نخاطب حفلكم الكريم هذا معربين لكم عن عظيم شكرنا وفائق تقديرنا على مبادرتكم الكريمة ويمثل حافزا إضافيا لمواصلة المسيرة وتحقيق المزيد من النجاحات انطلاقا من رؤيتنا التنموية فجائزة خليفة بن سلمان للصحافة جاءت تتويجا لكل ما شهدته الصحافة منذ ثلاثينات القرن الماضي تاريخا إلى حرية التعبير والضمير دستورا After that, His Royal Highness honored the winners of the award, including uh, Mahmoud Al Mahmoud from the Gulf News, Mustafa Noor Al Din from Al Ayam News, Walid Sabri from Al Watan Newspaper, and Abdul Rasul Al Hujairi from Al Bilad Newspaper. His Royal Highness also honored the workers from English newspapers and magazines, in addition to honoring the late Lutfi Nasr and uh, Dr. Abdullah Al Hawaj from Al Bilad Newspaper and the writers Ahmed Jum'a and Adil Marzouk for all their works and publications throughout their careers. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of the Bahrain Journalists Association in enhancing the journalism action and wished the association and everyone further success. The attendees expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and said that His Royal Highness's support motivated them to exert more efforts in serving the country. They affirmed, or they affirmed that this annual award contributed to enhancing the media and journalism in Bahrain.
A day of recognition and appreciation of hard-working writers and journalists that will remain engraved in the memory of national press. The annual award by His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for press being celebrated today in its fourth edition highlights the crucial role of the deep-rooted Bahrain journalism, stimulates creativity and encourages all generations of journalists to exert more effort towards supporting the nation's progress through adherence to responsible word and recognition of its deep influence on the lives of nations and peoples. His um, Royal Highness's uh, uh, memorable uh, participation in our event that was held under his patronage was a token of appreciation to journalists and this happens every year and from the bottom of our heart we thank him because he has always um, a paved way for journalists to do their work. Uh, his Royal Highness has always been a father, has always been a great leader, and um, among the most beautiful quotes that he has said, which reflects what freedom of expression is all about, is a quote that is very close to my heart when His Royal Highness said, criticize Khalifa bin Salman, but do not ever harm your nation. And this, if it shows anything, shows uh, how open His Royal Highness has been towards the press and towards the citizens that we are a country where criticism is acceptable, but never, ever stop defending your land, its security and its stability. Awards were granted in four categories, the best column, the best investigative report, the best press interview and the best press photo, covering political, economic, sports and cultural fields. Moreover, His Royal Highness honored pioneers of English newspapers and magazines who have been serving the nation for decades. Winners expressed sincere honor and happiness for receiving such a prestigious award. Very happy, very feeling uh, for me and for my, my country and for my uh, newspaper. Very, very happy to say that this prize, honored by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, means a lot to us. And it's really to make us feel very proud of what we have been given to this country, but it put in us also a lot of pressure to improve what we are doing. Very, very proud. This is the second award I've got. The first one I got after the war from His Royal Highness. This one, 40 years later, I've been here. Been in Bahrain a little longer than that, but 40 years in the media. I love it. I'm so proud, and I'm proud of Bahrain as well. Appreciation and constant support by His Royal Highness lay foundations of professional journalism and consolidate the principles and values which have contributed to building a highly aware generation of journalists who are capable of preserving and promoting the noble mission and values of press. A precious prize that bears the name of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, patron of press and journalists, is allocated today in appreciation of free and honest journalism that plays a great role in enlightening the community and serving the nation. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheb Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal on the success of the 2019 government form. She noted that the form, which was an initiative of His Royal Highness, showcased landmark national achievements in the wide-ranging development drive led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She described the form as a platform for highlighting current achievements and future priority goals for the public sector hailing His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support and follow-up and his keenness on turning Bahrain into a successful model of advanced countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received HSBC's Chief Executive Officer for the Middle East, North Africa and Turkey, Minat region, Martin Tricod at Ghribiya Palace. 
During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the role played by the banking and finance sector in the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of further strengthening competitiveness within the banking and finance sector, noting the kingdom's commitment to attracting investments within the sector in order to create quality opportunities for Bahrain's citizens. For his part, the CEO of HSBC, Minat, expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and highlighted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support to the kingdom's banking and finance sector. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Maraj, also attended the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the National Athletes Team delegation who returned to Bahrain after participating in the World Athletics Championship and succeeded in achieving first place in the Arab region, the second in Asia and twelfth in the world after achieving gold, silver and bronze medals. On the occasion, His Highness congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and his Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the Bahraini team's achievement. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that the honourable results achieved by the athletics team embodies the support of His Majesty the King to Bahraini sports in various events. His Highness also expressed pride in the achievements made by the Bahraini runners in the World Championship. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, received Speaker Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal in the presence of UAE National Federal Council Chairperson Dr. Amal Abdullah Al Qubaysi on the occasion of the launch of the Arab Women's Rights Charter. Zainal conveyed uh, the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and to all the rulers of UAE Emirates, wishing them constant success. Elevation and prosperity under the leadership of UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed praised Gulf women's achievements and gains, citing the Bahraini and Emirati women's pioneering experience in all areas of a comprehensive development and reaffirmed the keenness of both wise leaderships on supporting the progress and empowerment of women in all sectors. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs welcomed the outcome of the Government Forum 2019, which was held last week under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. At the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In an ordinary council meeting chaired by Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who affirmed that the Government Forum has become an important venue through which uh, government development strategies are drawn in preparation for the incoming challenges and to realize the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Council praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's presentation, which displayed the government's initiatives to improve its performance as well as its achievements, especially the positive economic and financial indicators and the opportunities they promised to provide citizens in the future. The Council then discussed other topics that included the opening of the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies, the prospect of cooperating with the Bahrain 
Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the participation in the Council's counterpart in Egypt last month. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to establish a liquidity fund of 100 million dinars to restructure financial commitments for private sector companies in the kingdom, the ministry has coordinated with the authorities concerned to begin working on this directive and put it into practice as soon as possible. The minister noted that work is underway to continue implementing all the initiatives of the physical balance program according to the planned timetable in order to achieve balance between expenditure and government revenues by 2022. Sheikh Salman hailed the success of the government form 2019, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and by the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and noted its importance in bringing officials and decision makers together to exchange visions and review government achievements, in addition to identifying future government approaches through the presentation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince during the form, which included ambitious visions for a brighter future for the kingdom to achieve the aspirations of the country and its citizens in light of the comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King. He highlighted that the published result of the Q2 2019 Bahrain Economic Quarterly Report affirms that the kingdom's economic stands on a solid base reinforced by the economic diversifications enjoyed by the Physical Balance Program. The Minister of Housing, uh, Bassem bin Yagoub al-Hamar, affirmed uh, during the Arab Ministerial Council for Housing and Construction that Bahrain was aware of the growing demand on housing services at an early stage, which is considered a natural result to the increasing population growth rates. He noted that Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 devoted a special focus to social development and set the objectives and programs necessary to provide sustainable and high-quality housing services. The minister pointed out that Bahrain's government was keen to established five housing towns since 2012 to meet the challenge of increasing demand for housing services, bringing the total number of housing cities in the kingdom to eight, which reflects Bahrain's interest in the social housing sector. He added that three sites were provided for coastal cities, including Salman Town, Khalifa Town and East al Hid Town, which were provided with coasts and public beaches. He also stressed that the new housing towns are considered a step towards achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals.